What's going on, buddy? This is John Bain. I want to welcome you to Ark Survival Evolved Genesis. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are doing pretty good today. I'm doing good myself. Don't forget to mind you all to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can be here when stuff happens because we're back. With some more Ark. Uh, beautiful day. Beautiful day it is. Beautiful view it is, too. I really like how we have a nice panoramic view up here. It's just perfect spot. Safe. And I've done work. If you can't tell just from here, you can see things have happened. Um, I have installed two air conditioning units, which also facilitate heat as well. Um, we have the industrial grill is here. We ha I made a refrigerator because I need a refrigerator. See, the refrigerator is refrigerating things in the refrigerator right now. Very, very nice. Um, we have the chemistry bench set up, which I don't have any gas in there, but at least we have it set up over here. There's an avalanche outside. Over here, we have our S plus bench. We have our smithy. We have our fabricator. Uh, we have the gate smithy, and I put up a refining forge for now until we can grind out enough mats to make an industrial forge. Hoping to do that soon. Uh, but this is a little cramped, but it works right now. And then, of course, I have moved all my mats over from the bog over to here. And I've kind of just kind of got things together the best I could. We do have a misc rock, misc tree, and a misc bush over here. Um, along with a bunch of other options and the building pieces and whatnot. But we do have power, and I decided to use the uh, the floor power stuffs uh, from the, this is the square foundation um, power. Let me just show you instead of explaining that would be a better job if I did that. There we go. A uh, set of wiring. The wiring, this is the pipes. I had the wiring though for the square, uh, which goes in foundations and ceilings. And what I did was take the back room back here. As you can see, we've expanded a little bit. There's a kitty cat. Okay, let's get in here before the kitty cat comes here. All right, um, expanded. And I ran the pipes, uh, the pipes, the wires all the way over through to the other side and got this up. And I used up half of my oil to make more gas. Okay, it's right there. Close. Uh, we're going to go this way. Ha ha! And then I ran wires across from the front here. Frontier. <laughs> Get it? We're in the cold. And it's, never mind. Um, over to here and then ran them up over this foundation up top and ran the wires all the way back. The reason I'm showing you the foundation, you can see the little squiggly lightning bolt that shows that there's power ran through those. And there's a hidden um, outlet underneath this grill for this side. So it's powering all this side. And we have one over there um, hiding underneath another piece. Uh, and it's, it's, it's powering everything over here. Also, I've done some work on the greenhouse. Battle music can stop anytime it wants. And I put in some nice railing. At nighttime, I have the torches turning on down the side. So th this actually cleaned up pretty good. And we have a doorway that leads over to the hallway that leads to the generator and stuff. So, and I got stuck and fell. Where are you at? It could probably be doing that all day long. We're going to go ahead and get some, ha some stuff here. Um, one thing too that I didn't show you guys before that the terminal can do. The terminal, depending on your INI settings for the server, uh, for Dino Souls slash Dino Storage version 2, you do have an automation side of things. And I have it turned on for poop generation. Instead of leaving your guys out and have to worry about picking up poop, this thing does it. And so all 300 slots, if it's not dinos, right now it's poop. That's, that's the poop, man. Um, let's go and do this right quick then. And what we need to do is get some a combo setup going on. Um, so that way we can get our green, green veggies going on, all that good stuff. Where are you at? I can't get out with you. I forgot about that. Nice job, John. Now we can. This is an X saber kit tooth, so it takes half the damage. But it doesn't matter. It's dead. It's dead. Just like that. Bam. Gone. So, um, anyway, I'm going to have to be doing a, a, a quick little compost area just to get some compost going. Um, that way we're good to go with all the stuffs um, to get the greenhouse rolling. But today, we're going to go for some Rexus, man. We're going to tame up some Rexus. I'm, I'm hoping to find a, like a decent level male and female Rexus. That's right. We're going to go find some today. That's the big plans for the day. I'm excited because I really can't wait to get some some Rexes, uh, honestly. And we're going for the X Rexes on the in the lava zone. Um, that way, the, the volcanic biome of love can get up in that place with all its warmth and grab with something nice and uh, well, well Rexified. You know what I'm saying? Rexified. Uh, I will be using our. I keep hearing that. I will be using. Um, let's see. We'll be using cloth armor. 
And I'm going to bring the metal with me too, just in case. But since we're inside, we should be okay. We shouldn't be too cold. We should be good to go because we have the AC units running because that really warms us up really well. <laughs> should be like climate control or name something else. But it's a nice, how cold is it really? See, it's 21 degrees Fahrenheit. We're wearing cloth. We look snazzy jazzy. You got the stuff together. Um, I have prepared stuff for a pen. What we're gonna do, not this thing, um, it's over here. What we're gonna do is actually find the Rexes. We're gonna be placing down foundations. I, fit the, I can fit the large walls on me too. We're gonna have foundations of walls and I'm gonna try and catch this thing live. Uh, when we see one, we're gonna be definitely grabbing, um, putting on our, our metal armor and getting it going. But that's the plan for today. The poop's gonna have to wait, you know? We need some Rexes, y'all. I'll meet you over the lava zone, y'all hold on. Okay, welcome back. I spawned in the north area and I ran over here and is it still here? Or did it run off? There was a Rex over here and it was like a 145. There, there's that it. 145 Rex, tameable. It's hurt, but we can do this. Uh, we're gonna set up it right here, I think, like this. There we go. I was about to say, what the hell? There's that sound again. All right, and then I'm gonna place, I have the walls already. I'm gonna get some walls up here. Like th that, and then put a wall here. And hopefully I can get his attention. Oh, I didn't, I don't have any range on me. Okay. Um, sir. Can I get your attention, please? Come on, finish it up. Hey! I can get out of here, right? Yeah, I can. Oh, we can get over here quick. I have my armor on. Okay, it's coming still. Uh, stop, it stop. Is it still coming? Oh, it is! Come here. Oh, they got a bite on me. Got a bite on me. But we got him. We got him. Yes, 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 yes. It's in. It's in. It's in. We got it. Try to get out of that sucker. Uh, time to get these back on. <laughs> okay, I never checked behind me. I think we're clear. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna head back to base. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my tranks. and I guess I'm gonna get to work on this. How much torpor do you have? Fourteen thousand point nine. Okay. All right, that was great. Um, yeah. <laughs> awesome. I don't know if you guys care to see the, the knocking out of the situation, but we're going to do what we got to do. You guys hold on. All right, welcome back. I had a 407 darts when I got here down to 242. Now I'm trying to scare this to go back the other way. No, you're just going to fall right here then. Here, how about in the face? How about in the face for that one? Come on, get knocked out. This has been, oh, there we go, a long, long time, but it's worth it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and change this thing around some, just so we can make sure that most of its headspace is safe space. I, I, I feel better if that was the case, case. Maybe right about to here. Just something at least, you know what I mean? I know it's not that effective, you know, on the back side of things. <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, just so it just kind of, I feel a little better about this. Especially the amount of time it's taken to find one. Uh, and then also the cost of the mats to actually, you know, capture it and stuff. Let's pick up that piece too and put it over here just in case again. There we go. That's going to have to work for right now. Um, I'm going to head back to the base and grab some mutt now. So you can see with our awesome spyglass, it's only three mutt. And the same for the uh, prime meat as well. Okay. Okay. Heading back. And there we go. Okay, awesome. So now uh, let's go over here to our lovely refrigerator. I left spaces around it because I plan to expand, maybe have end up having three of them in the end. It does have 300 slots, 200 slots though. I can count. Let's just bring five so it has a little bit of extra. And I don't mind again a little bit quicker tames because it's like knocking it out is the real deal. Grabbing it is the real deal. Finding it's the real deal. The whole nine yards is the real deal except for that. So I don't care. That's fine. Um, there is a bit of a randomness of the possibility, but also um, taking X amount of hours for an episode already and then waiting that long to tame it. I just I feel like that's a nice compromise anyway. 
so you know again i went through let's say at 407 down to 237 so there's your numbers for you about 170 ish or so so um yeah that's that's a, that's a good amount of tarts um and it's hopefully going to tame up pretty quickly oh yeah it's going to tame up pretty quickly it's been sitting here for a second too so it's 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 hunger it's going hungry here not anymore though let's get hungrier that's all it'd be awesome so now when i'm out farming metal or obsidian and stuff like that or i'm out hello out here um i need to pay attention for a lady one um hopefully find one i guess we could go for her. i want the plus hundreds i would prefer 150 obviously but i mean if it's a decent hundred ish area i will take it and i do like the colors on this guy it has that electric blue going on what's the belly look like it's got the reddish going on in the belly and of course then the hot lava fire flow i don't want to get close and accidentally punch it that's all i gotta say <laughs> well anyway this thing's gonna tame up we'll be back at the base we'll check out how good it is you guys hold on all right welcome back and we have tamed the rex it is in my inventory right there uh we'll check out it in just a second just gotta make sure i clean up behind myself don't want to leave anything you know going on i mean i already cleaned up the taming pen it's back in the s plus uh crafting table right there so uh just want to clean up behind myself just make sure i got everything put away like i'm supposed to do because that's what you're supposed to do when you're done with stuff you put your toys away toys have been put away all right so let's see here we need to get a rex saddle together rex check pull and click and craft and all right and let's get a rex on our hot bar <laughs> oh yeah baby open says me close says me let's take this and it's a fairy all right oh it's, it's like a female what all right saddle on you let's get on you first then we'll check out your stats first off you look really cool without the a, a gamma yeah all right we're looking at 6600 health 1722 stamina weight is 760 melee damage 290.5 let's do the damage output here what level are you 25 217 that is super nice and i forgot to put my fur on didn't i your first kill very nice so my goal is probably to get the hit points up to probably like 10k if i can um and then some stamina and some damage i think that's what we need let me go ahead and get my fur on we were we were un we were very very unprofessional unpre unprepared uh we need to get our armor back on thank you very oh that's the wrong box let's go up to here there we go bam go there very nice pretty sexy oh yeah and i'm going to keep the uh flak on me just in case for now okay and you can close now get on the rex get on the rex there we go all right let's move along and get some kills in this thing get a couple of levels i just want to see how well we do out in the wilds here um i haven't used one in the arctic much i have uh, we have what's in here i can't get in there oh i can yeah i can't oh that's a 130 dode in a nice taming spot we already have a nice female and male both 150 so not really worried about you i'm gonna use you for testing oh oh all right let's see and there's a protocopticon in there i wonder if i can get in there a little bit better there we go there we go yeah that's how you get the crunchy times get them all the crunchy times pushing you back pushing you back a little bit easier to bite through the rock okay a little bit of blood, a little bit of blood, okay. HLNA is like over there in the tree, chilling. You should be dead soon, maybe. Yes, all the blood, yes. You're like pulsating now. There you go. Get that carrots and, and that hide and that no, lovely raw meat. Very nice. Ooh, I'm excited. I'm super duper excited. Let's do the cheaty fall here if I need to. No, I didn't. Nice, okay. I'd like to get a nice grouping of them to say hello to. I wonder how we would do against like the X Is there some over here? Uh, I don't see you. Okay, but I saw someone walking over here. Apparently, I was wrong. So I guess uh, now that we get the saddle on, I'm out here rolling around. I'm gonna go get some kills on this thing, trying to hit that 10k mark on the hit point level, and then um, we'll come back and uh, check out where we're at with stuff, and then we can get a little bit of base stuff done too tonight. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. You know the deal, guys. We'll be back. 
Welcome back, and I've been out here killing stuff, and there is a 140 mammoth here. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and try and tame it. Uh, I like my theory for gathering wood, but a mammoth can carry more wood, and that would be really nice uh, to have, honestly. So, especially since we're the Arctic, I feel like that's like kind of one of the, you know, the figureheads of the Arctical area, the mammoths of coolness. Yeah, 140. That is super nice. By the way, we have... I got three levels. I've got him, um, him up to 10,000 health, like I was going for right now. Stamina's at 2k. And there's the, there's the protocol here. And we just broke 354 on the melee damage. Let's get rid of the stuff I know I'm not going to need. There we go. And then I do want the animal parts. This, I don't need you. I don't need you. I don't need you. What do you set up as? Oh, it's unsorted. Alphabet alphabetized might be a little bit easier to go through. Don't need you. Don't need you. Marrow to you too, my friend. And there's that. There's this. Then the parts. And then that's good. What I'm going to do is go back. We're going to do the same thing we do the Rexes. And just pop out. Build a, build a foundation right quick. Set up. Which we got to come up with a name for the X-Rex. I don't even know what we're going to name it. Um, but anyway, going to do all that stuff. Get it set up. I don't know if you guys want to see that, but that's what we're going to do. Uh, the, the Arctic. 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 <laughs> Words. How about that? Words. Uh, and I'm going to go and empty the inventory. What I'll do then is when we get back here, um, I'll become, we'll come back and check out like as we get it into the pen and all that fun stuff. Isn't that? That's not. There's not. I have more animal parts than that. I keep doing the wrong one. That's why. There we go. Anyway, give me a minute. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Quick pen. Engage. Let's get this side up. Uh, we have one, two, three. Yep. So we can do... Let's do it this way. And right. Right. Where was that? Right there. And then these guys right here. Get this attention. <laughs> I was like, say, zero torpor. Get over here. Is that there? Oh, no, it's okay. It's the protocol to come. Get in here. No, get in here. You know you want to get in here. There you go. Get your way real quick. Let's pull up this. Pop this down. And we got it. <laughs> oh, wow. It has low torpor. This is actually going to be kind of quick. Well, I just did a Rex that had those 15k torpors, so this is a third of that. Was it already torpored up a little bit? Hello. Thanks for the hexagons. Nice. Very nice. This is a great development. Uh, we'll have, now have a nice woolly mammoth. Uh, our other one on the streaming server, I think it's called... Uh, is it... Fuzzy bum? No. Snuggle bum. It's snuggle bum. That's it. I'm not sure what we're going to name this one. We have two new dinos. Well, this one tames up without a problem, which I think we should be okay. Uh, when it gets knocked out, then I'll have the Rex here to help guard. We should be all right. So anyway, let me get this thing knocked out. I'm going to throw some majors on it and um, we'll have ourselves a mammoth, y'all. Weighted down so bad. Weighted down so bad. Oh, we got it. Yes, we did. We got it tamed. I also, there was like three. I also got oil. There were three no, nodes right there that um, I used the Ankylo to pop up. We've already gotten um, the lava. I was running around the lava zone. I was grabbing oil, and then I finally cut myself off. And then I saw those three while we were waiting for the stuff to tame up. Um, I did grab some. Oh, I did put those in the wrong spot. I put those in the wrong spot. I put those in the wrong spot. Okay, I got to get better with this. I got to do better with this. I am, I'm, I am better with this. So, uh, we got a new piece of armor. I'm mainly going for hyperthermic. There we go. This can change out with you. Okay, great. You are 19. That's probably not as good as these. It is not. And this one is not either. So, peace out. Pieces there. Got a recipe. Recipe. Goes in the recipe box. We have animal parts to put in here like that. Uh, we'll another recipe. Recipe box. Check. Oh, that's a new one. Yay. I like collecting stuff. Collecting stuff is fun. And we put that into there and then go down to the fiber. Fiber hole. You get in the fiber hole. Check. We are good to go. Let's go throw these in here. And then we're going to make us a mammoth saddle. And we're going to look at the mammoth. And then we're all going to be yay. Oh, I already am yay. But you know what I mean. I'm going to throw all these in the hole. Screw it. All right. Uh, those are all in the hole. Mammoth saddle. I believe that's made in the smithy. 
Yes, it is. Is it? Yes, it is. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Okay, cool. So two nice dinos in one day. Hey, it's Megatherian. A level 20. You want to be our test subject for the, for our new new friend? Close. Thank you very much. Let's take you. Let's, let's put you here. Let's go on this. Let's put this on you. Let's mount you. And what are you? Okay. 6,900 health, 1,650 health, uh, stamina. Um, we have 770 weight. Melee is 266.9. Let's see how good that, what that actually translates to. Watch, we'll lose it to a 20 megatherian. Oh, no, we're not. It's faster than the Rex, but again, you can, we can heal the Rex too. So, uh, with the meats is... That's not too bad. And our wood gathering is amazing. These have to go anyway because we're going to be building this way. So might as well just go ahead and get it, get some woods as well. We're at Look at that. 625. Excellent. Very nice. That was a nice, nice uh, coincidence right there. We can put you right here and you've already leveled twice. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit of stamina to get that 2K mark. I like that there. So what are we going to do today? What, what else are we going to do today? I ask you ask me. Well, um, well, welcome back. And we tamed the mammoth. If you can't tell, we made a saddle. We're gathering some wood. We've already got our, one kill under our belts. Does pretty decent. I have pumped two points into stamina. It was about 1600 that we had before, but we have 6,900 health. Uh, now we're up to 1980 on stamina. Weight is 770. Melee damage 266.9. I'm gonna pump one and wait. That's not too bad of a gain. That's not too bad of a gain. Um, and this thing, obviously, you guys already know, is the classic, classic uh, dino, obviously. And we're just having fun with it. Getting some woods. This, this is nice. So very nice. All right, there's that. Let's get that. Actually, I don't need you on right now. I'll get rid of you. Don't fall in the hole of death. We know it's the hole of death because things have died in there recently. I'm not gonna tell you how, new mammoth, but it, it is what it is. It is nice. Um, we got to come up with names, guys. We got to come up with names. We got to come up with names for the Rex. The Rex. And we need to come up with a name for the Mammoth. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that wood. <laughs> All that wood. Very nice wood. That's what I'm talking about right there. Let's go over here. Oh, so good. So nice. So nice. So good. All the wood. I don't mind clearing this out because we I plan to build. And so we got to gotta get our stuff together, man. We got to get our stuff going. Um, and let's see how much wood we've already got 3,600 wood from that. I like my theory for wood. It's, it's a little, it feels more safe and mobile, but I mean, honestly, and versatile, I guess you could say, but this is definitely the wood getter. I mean, we could get a castaway, but only weight reduces the weight of uh, wood by half. This is 75%. But anyway, uh, that's pretty cool. Um, so in gathering wood, what are we going to do now? Uh, well. Well, after we, we've now got a Rex tame, we've got our Mammoth tame, and we have a not fully functional greenhouse yet. We need to get the greenhouse 100% greenhouse in it. So what we're gonna do is actually do build a little a little side area, maybe off of this, and um, get some compost bins going or something like that. I don't know. Maybe we can put it in with a generator for now until we, because I have a feeling like some this this section might change some um, in the near future. So let's just let's just get some compost bins together. We we just got a bunch of thatch and wood and stuff. Um, let's do compost bins. Compost bins. All right, there's a compost there. Let's do this here. Ten of them should be more than I need. We're just going to do it anyway. Can never have too many. Um, and then we need to get uh, that in our inventory right here. And then we can use the S plus to pull the thatch that we need. And we got poop for days exactly whatever sound that was in the background now um depending on how much room we've got it will depend on we'll de decide on how many of these we do don't know how safe it is to have poop inside a room that has is burning gas you know what i mean you know that that could be a bad situation how are we looking there looking fine are we lined up probably not you know we're not let's line it up again this time i'll be a little more careful i'm just so excited that we got the rex tame today and we got the mammoth tame and i really can't wait to get like another rex and do some breeding um that's gonna be amazing i can't wait to get an imprinted one also we're gonna be getting some tech rexes too i want some tech rexes from the lunar area that's gonna be so much fun and all the tech things we, we're gonna tame all the things we need to actually get into some of the really really new dinos though too um i'd like to get a blood uh 
stalker soon. Uh, that would be great. And then also get a, uh, a mat. God dang it. I'm still not doing this right. Am I? God damn it. Pay attention, John. Let's just slide over a little bit. This is going to be off a little bit. I don't plan to have this here forever. We're not going to do this three times again. Let's rotate it like that. I bring it over like that and try this out. There's five. Hmm. That might have to be it then. Can't stack on top. It sucks. But it's some compost. Now, these are probably going to do it pretty quickly the way the server is set. Um, let's pull in. Actually, let's do this instead. Click done. Let's grab my transfer tool. Click on you. All structures and all dinos will do thatch. Right there to the S plus compost bin. We'll do max number of a thousand. There's 5,000 done. And then we also, I shouldn't close that. All structures, uh, feces, large, small, medium to the uh, a compost bins transfer. And now they're making poop, making all that compost, man. I probably should get some more of these going somewhere in here. I just, I want to be able to get to my generator. How are we doing on power? Not bad, not too bad. Still holding out, holding out. So that is going there. Very nice. Uh, how's the timer actually on this? We should have checked out while we we're here. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. My brain is like reeling because we got a nice Rex. Uh, it shouldn't take that. Eh, it might take a minute or two. More than a minute. It'll take a little bit. So that's going to be going on. How much poop did we actually use then? Do we have room still for more stuff? Okay. So we used 117 poops. Plenty of space. Plenty of space. Plenty of poop. We could actually use poop. The rest of the poop. Um, let me do this then. It's the soul terminal. What we're going to do then is use the rest of the poop that I've got to do a basic fertilization of what we have here. So where is soul terminal feces. And then we'll do the crop uh, plots. S plus. Uh, path, mass, seamless, seamless one. Transfer. All right, so we just transferred all the poop out of you, right? Excellent. So let's see how that works here. I know about the door open. We have we have our new mammoth friend there. So how's the fertilizations here? 7,500, 7,500, 7,500. That's good enough to get seeded. Very nice. Um, let's go ahead and grab our seeds then. We're going to do the four major food groups in this game. We're going to grab the citronol, long grass, rock carrot, and sour root. Bam. Okay, what would be the best way to set this up? Um, rock carrots are kind of short. We could probably do that here then, just to make sure we can see in here pretty easily. So, rock carrots. One. Rock carrots. Rock carrots. Rock carrots. Did it go in there? Rock carrots. That's when it gets seeded. You are now. Okay, so we got all the seedlings in here. And then um, probably do Sava root maybe over here. And then in the back we'll do the citronol and the long grass. Let me go get these things plugged in and we'll check back when it's all nice and shiny. Oh, the lights are on. Look at how nice the lights look. Can I say hello to you? Yes, I can. Say hello. Thank you very much. Oh, that looks so good. All right, I'll be right back. Well, we got it all planted, and it's it turned. It's already seedlings. Like the rock, the rock carrots, we're not gonna see them when they're seedlings. But the little sprouts here from the salva roots, so nice. I really like. I like the farming. It's, it's actually kind of kind of calming, especially in this peaceful place. And I really like how the lighting works in here. Like I have that gamma up, when I turn it down though, with the flickering lights and stuff like that, it really has a nice feel to it. I really like how it looks. It's like clean, uh, but it has the aesthetics in it, and it's effective for what we're doing. So. It's actually nice. I really do end up liking it. And um, I've been doing the metal with stone for a, a metal. I'm sorry, the glass with stone for quite a little bit here and there. Like every now and again, this is the build we go with. And it's nice to come back to it again. And I think we have the right uh, setting slash biome for it. You know what I mean? Just kind of, you know, it's a nice day. We really need to get some <laughs> more lighting in. I don't know if I want to use electric lighting or not, because I really do like the torches. Uh, they look really good in here. I mean, it, it puts out a nice amount of light for in here, but... I don't know, maybe the rest of the base in certain areas we could put the electric lighting in and leave this one with the torches because I do like how it looks. It has a nice uh, warm feeling. 
Is it not a warm feeling? Do you not feel the warmth in here? Oh, we need to check our compost, see where we're at with stuff. Let's get over in here. Close the door behind you because you're responsible. Let's turn back up the gamma. Oh, we've already got, uh, this section should be enough for each of them. If there's four. Okay, so back again with the transfer tool. Click on you and then go to the S plus compost bin. Let's do the fertilizer and let's have them all go to the, this and should put one in each of them. 20 transferred. And then everybody should be good to go. We should have way more than 7,500 now. We do 10,000, 10,000. Uh, uh, um, I'm sorry, 100,000, 100,000, 100. Oh, that one's almost 100. Yeah, okay, that one's, I think that one got planted earlier. So we're sitting, everybody's sitting good. Very nice. This is excellent. This is good to see. Cool. That means that we kind of like, they're doing a little bit better now with the fertilizations going on. So that's really nice. But I feel pretty good. What do you guys think about the Rex of the Mammoth teams? We need to come up with some names. You got some ideas for names? Please put them in the comments down below. Um, I, 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 you guys have been coming up with some good ones. It'd be great to see them. And um, I'm also happy the greenhouse is now functional. And um, I'm looking forward to working on the base some more because we need to get some more things done. This is obviously not done. We have a nice, decent amount of space up here. I'd like to do something more visual inside this front room. It's just open. I do like a little crafting areas. But, you know, that is what it is. And, you know... That is the time we've got for today. Hopefully you guys are liking what you see. If you're liking what you see, don't forget to slap the like button. It really does help me a lot. And I do appreciate it. Seriously. And thank you everybody also for that's been hanging out during the series. Um, it, it, thank you very much. Either way though, again, <laughs> thank you so very much. And you all have a good night.